for all of our history, there have always been people who are going out to find something new, to understand something new, and to bring those things back home to expand and share culture. That's what science is about. That's what's so exciting. I'm Don Sumner. I'm a professor of geology at UC Davis, and I'm in a virtual reality environment where we can make things like a virtual globe that allows us to investigate things we can't see in the real world. We live in just an instant of time, and the Earth is uh, four and a half billion years old. Looking at rocks and trying to understand how they form and how they reflect Earth's history is, is my job, for example, climate change and sea level rise and uh, earthquake hazards. And so each one of these little colored spots represents an earthquake. In California, which we're looking at right in here, most of the earthquakes are pretty close to the surface. We think about ourselves as being an earthquake country, but it's really not as bad as somewhere like Japan. But there are a huge number of earthquakes. This big red one here caused a tsunami. So if we look inside the Earth, you can see that a lot of those earthquakes are below the surface. And that's because part of Earth's ocean crust is sinking down into the interior of the Earth. When the solar system was first forming, Mars and Earth were pretty similar, and they've gone very different directions. One of the reasons I'm really interested in going to Mars is to try to understand what the early Earth was like. The nice thing about virtual data is you can put anything you want in here, and I am interested in looking at data from Mars. So here we are. These are images from orbiters, and we have reconstructed the virtual surface. We're looking at much older rocks than we can typically find on Earth. And if we read the history of those rocks, it will tell us about what happened on early Mars, and that will help us understand what happened on early Earth. So we're hoping that this ridge uh, contains clues to ancient water on Mars, and in particular, we're interested in finding out if it was an environment that could have hosted life. But just to be able to walk down the hall and step onto the surface of Mars like this is a real treat. So we're looking at color pictures of Mars that the Curiosity rover took. The first color image I saw of the, of the distance, uh, it just so beautiful, and it was I just started crying. There, it's just something very familiar about this landscape. So we look at the layers, we look at the textures in those rocks, and that tells us the history of how they formed. This is a virtual model of the rover Curiosity at life size. So the images in the background were taken by uh, these two cameras. Those are the first uh, color cameras to take landscape images of of Mars like this. It's a photo album uh, from another planet, and there's this huge sense of adventure and excitement seeing a, a new place, a place where no human being has ever seen anything before until we get those pictures down. When you reach out beyond Earth and try to understand things, it, it, it puts, puts our own lives in perspective nicely.